Where I'm sitting right now is a um, about a 400-acre farm that Mary and I own up on the Kentucky-Tennessee state line. It's kind of my getaway place. And I feel God here. I feel nature here. I love being away. We live such a hectic life with the Oak Ridge Boys that it's just nice to get out here and refuel. Well, as a writer, I'm constantly writing short stories, commentaries. Now, I've written the book, too. I have a couple of unfinished novels, as does every writer. I have one novel that's finished, but you know, I just got to keep tweaking it because to me, it's not really finished. But when I'm out here working on the tractor and cutting big fields or mowing or weed eating or just sitting on this porch watching the sun go down, I always seem to come up with some kind of idea for a commentary, a perspective, so to speak, a, an idea. And I'm kind of guilty of writing these things down, which is what we want to do in the creative process. See, I love the creative process as a side note. To me, the most interesting thing in life is creativity. I think we all have a creative gift. God, the great creator, has given us a creative gift. Something that exists today that wasn't here yesterday. It's because you listened to a thought, you followed a dream, you, you listened to, to God speak to your heart in a moment of quietness. And I don't care if it's a book, a song, a banjo part, if it's a redesigned kitchen countertop. Being creative and coming up with something that is here in your hands today that wasn't here yesterday is what I enjoy more than anything. Well, again, whether it's songs or the written word. I love coming up with an idea. One quick example that's in the book, a nothing day. One day I was out here with absolutely nothing to do, how glorious it was. It was a beautiful day weather-wise. I walked down by that creek. I walked through the fields. I walked through the woods, spent time thinking about things. I spent some time not thinking about things. It's something I think we all need to do. Well, the idea came to write this little piece about it called A Nothing Day. In a Hello, way I... what's up, guys? I'm glad that you are watching. And for the new person here, please make it a point to subscribe. So another breaking sad news coming onto my desk. Joe Bonsall, the longtime tenor for the iconic country gospel group, the Oak Ridge Boys, has died at the age of 76 years old. Joe died Tuesday as a result of complications from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, according to a statement from his band. He had been battling ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, for more than four years. And in January, he announced he was dropping out of the group's farewell tour. Joe provided vocals for the Oak Ridge Boys for half a century, and he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, the Vocal Group Hall of Fame, the Gospel Music Hall of Fame, and the Philadelphia Music Hall of Fame. A member of the Grand Ole Opry, Joe also played the banjo, and he authored 11 books, including a memoir due out in November titled, I See Myself. Joe grew up in Philadelphia and joined the Oak Ridge Boys way back in 1973, and his family says he loved working on his Tennessee farm and loved the Philadelphia Phillies. Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum CEO Kyle Young is remembering Joe as the spark plug for the Oak Ridge Boys and as exciting a performer as any who ever hit a gospel or country stage. Kyle adds, Joe's tenor voice was high and clear and his jovial spirit always provided a jolt of energy immediately rousing audiences to come on in and take a load off. He certainly lightened our cares every time he sang. Joe is survived by his wife, two daughters, four grandchildren and sister. As the management of Hum TV, we send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of our dear Joe Bonsall. 